Hey, it's Yuri Experience and today we are talking about trimming your body. It's Yuri Experience. Yay, first controversial topic on this channel. Obviously, not every man does manscaping and it's also okay not to do that if you don't want to. As I was young, I would never suspect that at some point in my life I will actually trim almost all hair on my body, except for my head. So yes, there are people who do that to different degrees. There are people who are shaving their body, there are people who just trim in their bodies, as me for example. Yes, all the hair here or on my legs I did trim and there are like specific lengths to them. And there were actually reasons why I started that. And today I decided to share these reasons with you. There are four main reasons that led to me doing manscaping or like trimming my body hair and which can help you to decide whether you want to do that too. The first one, and the most obvious in my opinion, is muscle definition. If you have ever seen one bodybuilder, then probably he didn't have a lot of hair on his body. Most of bodybuilders shave their bodies. They do that because absence of hair on your body will lead to better muscle definition. Why? Because most of the people define definition as having shadows over your body. If you have like a bigger chest, then you will have shadow under your chest, which will allow people to see that you have actually defined muscles. Same with pretty much all the muscles on your body, being that your six pack or your legs or your arms. Independent of the muscle, definition of the muscle can be seen only thanks to the shadows. And that means, yes, that with some lights you can actually almost make your whole definition disappear. And with other lights you can have like really crazy muscles, although you don't have such big muscles. And since you need shadows in order to acquire muscle definition, hair is just not your friend. Hair stops sunlight from spreading or like from creating that kind of a shadow and it diffuses light a little bit. So although you would have shadow because of the muscle in some region of your body, it will almost not be seen because thanks to the hair this whole light will be spread over the bigger surface and you will just not see that much of a muscle definition. That is the reason why a lot of muscular people do trim hair on their body, so they see more muscle definition. And if you think, you can actually find a lot of examples where people already do that in their everyday life. But in this case I don't mean men, I do mean women. One of the reasons why they shave their legs is in order to show their legs without dispersion, without this kind of light diffusion. And according to my knowledge, it works for them, so why should not it work for men too? The second reason for trimming your body hair is less sweating. I think it's also pretty straightforward. The less hair you have, the less thermal isolation you have. One of the purposes of hair is keeping your warmth inside of your body. But nowadays, since we wear clothes, we don't really need that function anymore. Which leads to the fact that a lot of us are sweating heavily during summer. And because I'm one of the people who sweats heavily during the summer, I decided to trim hair on my body and, in my opinion, it helped me. The third reason is hygiene. And here we speak mostly about your armpit and your region like down there and in your ass. If you have a lot of hair in these regions, then it normally gets really moist over there and it's also dark over there, which is like a perfect place for microbes to develop themselves and to grow. Does it mean that if you don't trim your hair, you will definitely develop microbes or viruses or whatever, or bacteria? Definitely not. If you still wash your body like daily or once per two days, your body will remain more or less clean. Except for the case if you're using toilet paper after using your toilet, then I would still recommend trimming your hair because, you know, shit stays on your hair and you don't really clean your skin. You like literally trying to put something on the surface, but it remains there. If you want to make an experiment like put some melted chocolate on your skin, not too hot, please not too hot. And then take a paper towel and try to take it away and you will see that a lot of that remains on your skin. That is why I, for that hygienic purpose I do recommend to trim your hair over there or wash your butt crack every time when you are using it. You know what I mean. The last reason is aesthetics. Although it depends on the country or on the region, in Germany, mostly in Russia and in USA too, it is not that nice if you have a lot of hair looking out over here or like here, especially for job interviews or like for job meetings. Same as a beard, your body hair shall be groomed. So even if you don't want to trim your hair or don't want to do it everywhere, I do recommend you to avoid having hair like growing out of here, so like here somewhere, or at least keep it short. Trust me, it will only make you look better, not worse. In the end, my personal situation, I trim my body hair like 
all of my body hair. I don't shave it anywhere because I have sensitive skin and it's not that comfortable for me. And the other reason why I'm not shaving is because of social expectations and because if you have shaved legs as a man, the most people will not understand that correctly. And although I try to avoid putting way too much attention to social expectations, still that's one of the things that I was growing up with and it's difficult to go away from. However, if you are doing that, I am fully supportive of you and it's your decision. And that's my last point for today's video. Your hair at your body is your decision. Not from some judge from the neighbor's house. It is your decision. So you are allowed to do with that whatever the hell you want. That's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>